You don't even know it. Oh, high class niggas. This shit sound crazy. This shit sound crazy. Flash it on me. This shit sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? If a thousand dollar pair of shoes, you don't need no If a thousand dollar pair of name, you don't need no Just have me in the car, you don't need no I came up from bottom, you don't need no My niggas all right with me, you don't need no Everyday quality, quality interviews, your boy E. Bigger We here with the famous celebrity barber, Nick the Barber himself How you doing, sir? I'm wonderful, how are you, E. Bigger? I can't complain Thanks for coming today. I appreciate it. Nothing. Anything for you. <laughs> so I have a, a few questions for you. Um, first question being, uh, what does quality mean to you? When you think of the word quality, what does that? What comes to mind? The best that you can do. Wow. That, that's what comes to mind for me. You know, if you define quality by the best that you can possibly do, then you know that you're doing the best that you can possibly do, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> the you best know? you can possibly do. That's quality. If you start defining quality by how good something actually is, then I think you put a right or wrong on things. It's not fair when you're dealing with human beings. Right. So it's really not what your perception of quality is. It's what the best you can do than I can do. Right. When you're talking about a car part, right. it's got to work the best. But when you're talking about a human being, quality pertains to the best that you can do. Um, next question. Um, what is uh, success to you? What, what does the meaning of success come to mind? What, what does that mean to you? I think success is individual. Success is a uh, feeling that, you know, different <clears throat> people get from different things. You know, right. you can get success. You can feel success from small accomplishments or you can feel success from big accomplishments. But, right. you know, getting back to that, the best that you can do thing, I think success pertains to doing the best that you can do and the results that you get from that. Is success right I like that um, so being so we talked about quality and uh, success what keeps Nick the barber motivated what are you passionate about what keeps you going day in and day out my wife ah waking up in the morning and, and, and being next to my wife or That's you know when she gets up before me and she's in the other room right and I'm thinking I can't wait to go out there and see her right you know that's that's huge to me Coffee gets me motivated. In the morning. <laughs> That's true. And uh, you know, high quality work from anyone that I know, you know, be it myself or the athletes that I deal right. with, uh, that are putting in their best effort and getting in something that's quality. When I see that, it motivates me to be better. Right. So just feeding off of that, you know, you said your wife, you know, coffee, whatever. But um, does attaining a new client, say a celebrity client, does that drive you even more? Like ah, I just got so and so. By the way, have you got any new clients recently that was any... Funny you should ask, you bigger. <laughs> I mean... It seems like I just uh, obtained Blake Griffin last week wow. as my new client, which I've been working on for a while. I think he was right. waiting until the end of the season okay. to try a switch and to try something new. Right. But it's funny the feeling that came with that, because that was the first question you asked, is there, right. is, is there a motivation or a good feeling that comes right. from attaining a new client or anything right. like that? And. I was excited to cut him, right. and I was excited to go, but I felt like he was going to change his hairstyle, and he was going right, to put right. a challenge on me that was going right. to be, you know, big, but he right. ended up asking for the same haircut that he already had, Wow! and so all I could really do was the same haircut he had to the best of my ability, and hope that yeah, I did wow. it better, and, exactly, <laughs> and, I, and I think that I did, right. but... And he said that he loved it and it was perfect, but it didn't really give me a chance to show him what was what. Ah, so, because in your mind, you're already prepared for something different if that's what he was expecting, but he wanted, you know, the but similar, that, but you just made your adjustments <clears throat> based on his hair. Right, but that's also something I learned in the hair industry, is you gotta give people the haircut they want, not the one haircut you want them to have, ah. and I used to have that problem. Wow. So that's my ego getting in the way, really, you right. know, saying, I want to give him the haircut, I want to, I don't even know what haircut I want him to get, I just wanted right. to change it, so right. I can do something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's real. Um, man, that was dope, but, um. So, can you just tell people, uh, what's a hobby of Nick the Barber? Well, my favorite hobby, I would say, is taking walks with my wife. I also like to write rap verses. Okay. So, but yeah, my wife and I, we take a lot of walks. Like, we walks. take we take at least a walk a day. Runyon Canyon? Runyon Canyon, Santa, Santa Monica, Monica okay. you know, the basic L.A. joints. I feel like our neighborhood of West Hollywood is very safe right. and very pretty, so we take yes. a lot of walks through there. But we both have a lot of free time that we created ourselves. Right. So, it's nice to spend the time together. Right. And, you know, a lot of times... 
to get back to the other question, when we do wake up in the morning, we get up and take walks. So I think that's part of the motivation and excitement behind the right. waking up with her is that we have something we do together. We have something planned right. for the day. It's so it's dope. Okay. We got different joints. We got this steep hill that goes up. Oh, so y'all got y'all even have certain like places where you go to walk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to eat. We go to get more exercise. We go to incline. We go to long distance. We wow. got a lot of different joints that we like to do. And then going to running is like going ham. Going ham. Yeah, that's when we went so all the way. So you heard it. Going to Runyon is going ham. So plan some walks with your spouse or your significant other. Yeah, man. Runyon, involved, Runyon. Runyon's not a game. You go too far <laughs> down that hill and try to get back up to where you started from, you're right. going to have a problem. So start slow. That's what's up. That's dope, man. I like that. Um, last but not least, um, what is a quote you live by? What's one of your favorite quotes? My favorite quote is Muhammad Ali. I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. You don't need no. You don't need no. I, I don't know yet, but I ain't done even though I'm tired, you dig? My niggas all right with me. Quality interviews with Nick Navarro, man. I don't know. Let's get in the way. 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 Let's get in the way